Hey, what's going on guys? As you can see today, we're going to be opening another blaster of 2022 Doris UFC. Let's see what we get out of our second blaster. And this is actually my last blaster unless we actually manage to find more and buy more. As I don't think these ones are cheap. I think they're like $30. All right, since we already opened one, we do know that there's a lot of base, so let's go quick through the base. Unless you guys want me to go slow. All right, production line. We have Joanna. Pretty nice, not bad. That's a nice insert. And then we have a purple laser out of 99, 34 out of 99, Tai Tubaza. Probably lightweight, heavyweight, heavyweight. All right, sweet. I'll take it. Definitely pretty good since he's a heavyweight, but of course, not every heavyweight is popular. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can pull some of those marbles. We have a rated rookie of Lee. There's the marbles, Francis. That's good. That is good. Heavyweight. We have a red rookie of Carol Rosa. I believe we got that in our first blaster. Now I don't remember if it was uh, the exclusive laser, but we definitely got that same girl. Mr. Kane. Is he actually back in the UFC or they just wanted to feature him in this set? Man, I honestly don't know since I haven't followed UFC in a while. But I definitely love opening train cards of anything that I can get my hands off. You guys already know that. We have crunch time. 28 wins, 9 losses, 0 Zero draws of Jan, Mr. Jan, heavyweight for sure. He's a light heavyweight. We have a press proof of Stipe Myovsic. Definitely a good press proof to get. He's definitely popular, or at least he's a veteran, if not. <laughs> so, ooh. We have a Brock Lesnar. Alright, so they do feature play uh, fighters that are not in the game no more. So that's interesting. Of course, every sport does that. I'm just that they were doing fighters that were still in the game. But Brock Lesnar definitely proved us wrong we have another Carl this one is a base hopefully she's good <laughs> our duo here is a good one Khabib and Connor very good of course that's another good duo for sure very very nice then we have another craftsman of course this is the base one you know, this is Mr. Gain all right, Mr. George Baron for sure. All right, we have two more packs to go. Let's see if we can pull another marble before we get out of here. Retro series, Khabib, T 
think Habib is actually doing pretty good for himself, so I'm glad we're actually pulling some of his cards. And then we have a Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira Purple or Hollow Purple, Purple Hollow, whatever. <laughs> and I assume this is a lightweight, no, just heavyweight. So that's a good one, probably. Brazilian, if not Portuguese. But most likely Brazilian. All right, the last pack. If we're gonna pull another marble, it has to be hiding right here in this pack. All right, Mexico Power Connor. Let's go from the back. Let's go for the back. Let's go for the back. Alright, let's keep going. Hey, we did manage to pull the marbles. Alexander. Volcan Bos. Volcan. Volcanos. No. <laughs> Volcanovsky. Featherweight. Okay, so probably not the greatest, but. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll still take it for sure. Crunch time. 20 wins, 4 losses, 0 draws. Myosic. Hell yeah. Pretty good. And then our last card base is going to be Kreez. Alright, there you go, guys. That will be our second blaster of UFC Darren's. Let me know how you did. Enjoy that. With a like or a dislike, don't matter. Hopefully you did like it. And see you guys on the next video. Peace.